I'm at uh, Linda Kroll's house, 13229 Ipolita Street in Venice. The customer has an existing cage. I'm going to quote her for a rescreen, but she also is looking to possibly extend the cage as well, so I'm quoting her for that. Uh, I'm just going to go around the existing uh, measurements. The uh, wall here is 24 feet 9 inches to the back corner. That wall right there is a little over 4 feet, probably 4 feet 1 inch, and then it kind of rolls down over there on that corner. Um, the back wall across is 35 feet, corner to corner. All right. And then this wall again is 24 feet 9 inches back to the house. Uh, we got about a, between the gutter and the overhang, you got about a foot. And the wall height is 10 feet 6 inches from the base, top of the gutter, 10 feet 6 inches. So what the customer would want to do is extend this. What she only has room for is like 3 feet 9 inches that way. So I'm going to be tearing out from this beam to maintain the roof height. Tear out this last section which is 8 feet 1 inches and then add the 3 feet 9 inches on the other side over here. 3 feet 9 inches out and that matches up basically with the width of her current paver walkway out on the outside here so I'll go outside and show you how we're extending it down. So here on the outside foot nine inch wide walkway, paver walkway. So we're going to extend with pavers. We're going to do a footer, extend the pavers out and finish them in, and then put a three foot nine inch, uh, three foot nine inch extension of the enclosure that'll come to the, basically the edge of where this current paver path is. And uh, that's pretty much it. Going to. So basically be connecting like off the side of the house here. Slight fixture may become an issue.